friends, welcome again. Let us take step two of the say obtaining optimal solution of a transportation problem by MODI method. We have already discussed the first step of calculating DIJ values and checking whether any DIJ comes to negative or as a negative value or not. We got D22 as negative 18 and we concluded that the initial solution given to us or with us was or is not optimal. Now what to do to obtain the optimal solution? Step 2 is modified distribution. That means we need to modify the allocations or distribution which we have already made at the time of getting initial solution. What is the exact process? The exact process is to trace a closed loop. How to trace a closed loop? We have to start with the cell for which we have obtained the negative value of Dij. There is only one cell that is D22. The D was minus 18. So cell 22 is our starting point. To have a closed loop, it is very common that if this is a starting point, this itself must be our end point. So, we have to come back to this cell at the end of the tracing the closed loop. Now, a very simple thing is to arrive at again to this cell, we have to take turn. Now, the simple condition to take turn is we can take turn from an occupied cell only. And to have that kind of occupied cell, we can bypass any other cell in between. Say so for example, if we draw a closed loop from cell 2, 2, to cell 2, 4, we can bypass this cell. Even if it is an occupied cell. Because if we take turn from this cell, either upward or downward, we will not have other occupied cell to take further turn either on left side or right hand side. So we have to go to this cell only and from this cell we can go upward or downward. If we go upward we can take turn toward the left and here only we will have the occupied cell but if we take turn downward from this cell, we will not have occupied cell in the, here in these two places. So it is not advisable to reach here. So it is not advisable to go upward from here. And it is advisable to go downward. We have again an occupied cell. Again we can take turn on left hand side. We have occupied cell. From here we can take upward path and there will be the end point exactly at the place from where we have started. Now let us start. But put a plus sign in the cell where our starting point is. Now we are going clockwise. And we are bypassing this cell. Now we know the reason for that. From this cell we have to take turn either on upward side or downward side. But we know that we are going to take turn on to the downward side. Put minus sign in this cell. Alternatively, we will put plus, minus, plus, minus types of signs. Now we are taking turn and we are going to this cell downward. Now this is turn of plus sign. Again we are taking turn to the left. And we have reached to this cell. Now this is turn of minus sign. And again we are taking turn and going upward to our origin. Where already the plus sign is there. This is known as closed loop. Now observe the closed loop carefully. Alternatively there are sign of plus, minus, plus, minus. There must be equal plus signs and minus signs. There are two plus signs and two minus signs. It is not compulsory to have rectangle or square shape only. We can have variety of shapes but 
At present, we are not going to discuss all these things. Now, what to do? On the basis of this closed loop, we can modify the distribution, we can modify the allocations, which we have already made in our initial solution. A very simple thing is to be done. First, observe all the cells with minus signs. And study the allocation or distribution made to these occupied cells with minus sign. In one cell this is 8 and in another cell this is 2. Now select the lowest one. So 2. Subtract this lowest selected quantity from the cells with minus sign. We have to subtract. So here it will be 2 minus 2, 0. Here it will be 8 minus 2, 6. And now add this same quantity to the cells with plus sign. Here it will be 10 plus 2, 12. And here it will be 0 plus 2, 2. And that will be our modified distribution or modified allocation. 2 minus 2, now it is 0. Here it should be 12, 10 plus 2. Here it should be 8 minus 2, 6. And at a starting point, 0 plus 2, it will be 2. See, we have modified the allocation or distribution with the help of closed loop. What is the situation now? Here in this cell, it was 0 allocation is now 2. Here in this cell, it was allocation of 2 is now 0. Here it was allocation of 10 is now 12. Here it was allocation of 8, now is 6. Now, this is our modified solution of the transportation problem. That is different from the initial solution. Yes, now what? We have to verify whether this is optimal solution or not. So, step 1 comes again. We have to test or check whether this is optimal solution or not. For that purpose, we have to calculate DIJ values and as we know that or if only if all DIJ values are 0 or positive, we can conclude that this one is a say optimal solution. We are going to calculate DIJ values but in the next lecture only. We conclude here this lecture with modified distribution or modified allocation which we made with the help of closed loop. Thank you.